You may have heard about Earth getting a second moon starting next week, and I'm going to be real honest right out of the gate, this is not as exciting as you think. First, let's start with what's actually happening. An asteroid with the name 2024 PT5 was discovered on August 7th of this year. Using complex math and after tracking this asteroid's path for 21 days, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System determined that it will briefly get pulled into Earth's orbit. This is something that can happen regularly. There are many objects floating in space near Earth that get pulled into orbit. Some never make one complete revolution before dropping out of that orbit, but some can complete one or more trips around Earth. The ones that make a full revolution are referred to as mini-moons. 2024 PT-5 is going to become one of those mini-moons. And this begins real soon. The asteroid will become gravitationally tethered to Earth on September 29th. From there, Earth and 2024 PT-5 will stay tethered until November 25th. While it's going to release from Earth's gravitational pull at that time, it's going to stay near Earth for a while, actually until the beginning of the new year. So for 56.6 days, we get a second moon, or a mini moon, but this is nothing like the moon we've always known. 2024 PT-5 is only 24 feet wide. That's roughly the same distance as an NBA three-pointer. On the other hand, the diameter of our main moon is 2,159.1 miles. That's roughly as wide as the entire United States. This means you won't be able to see the mini moon with the naked eye. You likely won't even be able to see it with a telescope either. You need more sophisticated equipment to even have a chance. If no one told you about it, honestly, you wouldn't even know it was up there. According to a CBS News report, though, asteroid 2024 PT-5 will return to Earth's orbit in 2055, so you may get to hear about this again in a little more than 30 years. Asteroid 2024 PT-5 is going to miss the Earth. It's going to miss our main moon, so there's absolutely nothing to be worried about. But since you probably won't be able to see it, it's nothing to get excited about either. Reporting from home, I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.